Hello guys, Thomas Timo here. Um, this is, well, kind of about episode 10, I think, really. But um, I uploaded a uh, bunch of videos because I was um, had no internet for a couple of weeks. And I uploaded a bunch of videos all at once and then I deleted them off the computer and found out for some reason they were all corrupt or something on YouTube uh, so I had to delete them anyway I suppose at least you didn't have to watch all the boring stuff um, we're back to like where we got a certain amount of things up and running I'll give you a quick look around the base um, these are machine towers by prefab I have um, one there, one sort of behind that corner, two. This is a advanced warehouse, which kind of looks a bit different than this when you get it. It's got lots of wooden chests. Um, basically, I took them all out. Up top, it comes with an enchanting room. It's quite expensive to make. You've got some brewing stands. I'm not sure what this one is down here. There's another enchanting room, so we just as well kind of make that into one at some point um, down the bottom is more chests and what we're going to do today um, so this is what it kind of looks like when you get it and it comes with a um, what's it called down here um, I'm going to turn this into a mob spawner which we'll do in a minute after we've finished having a look about Okay, I'm halfway. Um, those are towers I made accidentally, and I've still got two more, so I might pop them around here somewhere to section off what's going to be the magic area. That is prefab um, portal. I added the uh, flame, flaming. Um, what's it called? Myself. Basically. Um, and this is going to be, I don't know, Taziki Summer, which sounds a bit like a Asian culinary dish. Uh, we'll have a go at that in a bit. Um, this was going to be Britannia over here, but uh, half my building's taken over it. Ooh, froze. Okay, power-wise, oh, power-wise, I made, which took days... Um, I didn't record it because it just took so long. I've made a fission reactor casing. Now, I thought this would just power everything we wanted to, but then I watched the video and you need to... Um, it produces steam and you need to build a turbine. So we will, at some point, be building a turbine here, which will power us. But at the moment... Uh, as you can see, I don't know whether there's a zoom button. Try Z. No. I got rid of that though. Um, yes, so we've got some mechanism windmills up there. Basically, I've kind of machined everything with mechanism, which I've now kind of parked away at the moment. Um, in here as you can see I've got a nano suit on which was made with um, obviously IC2 which once again has been cleared away and basically packed up in here I did have a bit more of it but I blew it up accidentally with um, high voltage cables and we have a little ME system running here and I've made these these are well cool these are lazy AE2 so definitely worth making and out here I have um, a digital miner which has been running um, I've been trying well I tried to set it up to get obsidian um, in the end I had to go and do it by hand because it said there wasn't any which it didn't seem to be there's a lot of um, lava but no obsidian so 
So I went and did it by hand, which is not too bad, to be honest. So I had a go at logistic pipes, but it's kind of hard going with putting this in there. We'll have another look at it maybe at a later date if it gets an update. Changes around. All of this is going to go. I'm going to move ME, uh, sorry, AE into here. And um, like I said, let's get ourselves a mob spawner so we can get some ender pearls because um, ender, endermen were we're around quite a bit and then obviously I've lit everything up and now I haven't seen one in a long long time so I was in the middle of gonna make some diamond spikes so we need I'm hoping we've got enough diamonds for this one two one two three because I've used a lot of diamonds lately um, we need a diamond block. Ooh, we got, oh, we got four left. <laughs> just, just. Okay. Gonna have to. Oh no, we got ten. Why did it say we have four? Maybe it needs to kind of update. And so I've got this item collector, this barrel which apparently um, can take lots of different types. I don't know how you put stuff in it. You can't seem to shift click into it. Anyway, you make that with nether bricks, a ender IO chest and uh, a quartz block. So I am hoping that basically we are gonna plonk this kind of on it and hopefully that will pick mob drops up. Supposedly it doesn't need power. It's not picking anything up. Um, let's make sure I'm not being silly with that. No, I've picked up and gone in there. Okay, that's what we want. I want to be able to pick up experience at some point. Why won't that go in? Has it got to be piped into this then? Dun, 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 dun. It's not going to pick that up, is it? Right, let's um, come in here quickly and see if we can make a hopper. How are you supposed to use this thing? I might I'll have to Google it. I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. So, um, well, I couldn't really find out a lot on it, but what I have worked out that basically, um, if you put it down, the only thing it will kind of accept is single items of stuff, but it won't accept string. So it only seems to accept items that can only be different so it's like it will accept two of these ender saws which I found in dungeons and three because they purely got different um, and what's going on some, some weird stuff going on I've just lost the flower pouch two flower pouches now anyway I don't know why Where are they gone? Stuff just seems to... Mod pack uh, is... No 
times one. As, <laughs> okay. What the is going on? Why am I now getting? Yeah. Okay. So the pack does need sorting out a little bit. But I think, you know, if we get skeletons, it will get basically um, all the bows, which I think, you know, stuff like that, we could probably then take out of it. I don't really want, I want to do all this stuff underneath that if I can. So I'm going to put the diamond spikes here. Yeah. And then I think what we're going to need is our chest will go there. We will put that on top of it and still, yes, still get into it. How can I not get out? Is it that? Right, okay. So let's um, try and go down here. Right, so we will pipe. I think if we put, say, this on here, and then we put that there, all the bows and things and stuff we don't really need will go into there and then I reckon what we'll do is we'll probably pipe out of that another one of that and put a trash can there um, and then hopefully all of our other stuff that we want to gain access to will um, go in here and then at some point I will pipe it out for now though we will Um, do this so we can get access to it a minute put a stair or something down there right so did I get spikes I have got spikes now the idea is here to try not to um, I think I'm gonna oh, did I lose that piece of glass I did. Bugger. Right, okay. I'll have to make another piece of dark glass. I'm hoping at some point we will be able to um, pick up experience from this. I only just made exactly enough so I'm going to need to make some more um, glass sand I think it was called So, and that needs to cook up in there. I think I only need two bits, to be honest, for uh, what we need to do at the moment. And then we put two of those, and we need an ink sack. Okay. So four of those, right? And in here we should have a drop. What? Where did my um, drop of evil go? There he is. Let's try and get rid of. Uh, some of this stuff. Mm. Oh, 
get back to sort like the sorting system. Right. Drop of evil. Got a vector plate. Uh, I'm going to want to be able to turn it off as well at some point, so we'll have to put some redstone in there. Um, I think that, hopefully, should be it. So we've got a way of picking everything up. Um, let's pop that there. So we're going to have to pop a bit of cursed earth down there, which should then curse the rest of it. Pop another vector plate down at this angle and come out, basically. Is it going to... Yes. Is it a bit light in there with that glowstone there? might be there we go stone in here What I'm really after, it is three high, ooh, I think actually I'm not going to get any endermen because of the plates, so I think it's going to need to be four high. It's a bit annoying. Totem of Shielded. Another flower pouch. <laughs> Emeralds. And glowstone. Which is quite nice. No, that's probably the glowstone from where I broke the um, the thing. Right, guys. So I think what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to turn it off, which it is basically turned off really with the. Um, So we'll have to try and get in the side of it and pop some um, pop some light in there. And then I'm gonna have to take it up another one and I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. So um, off camera basically I could show you really um, because there's only out the front here um, I had to bring it up a level get rid of my grass um, which is not too bad it's got a walkway out here anyway which will probably do a bit of that a bit more landscaping right there um, I put an iron trap door on here with a lever so we can get to the stuff we want got an ender pearl which is what I'm after really and um, those are disappearing so we can always upgrade this to a diamond chest which I'm gonna to have to get some more diamonds thinking about that um, I don't know why we're getting chicken feathers but there we go we get some skulls which come in handy so I might so now what have we got going in here anyway so we've got totem of shielding 
totem of returning. We're getting loads of these flower pouches. I just, I don't know. It keeps obviously jumping out of my inventory into there, so I think we'll leave it. Um, iron axes and bows. So power, soulbound power. We might be able to double up on some of these and get ourselves quite a good bow at some point. Anyway, that's that. Um, through here, I dug through here and basically just ran um, redstone and a couple of repeaters, about three repeaters around. So two redstone lamps. Turn that on. It doesn't completely stop everything from spawning, to be honest, but it will kind of quieten things down. So, so there's our spawner. Cool. We're going to keep that going because we want ender pearls, hopefully. Because I want to be able to... Um, what I would like to make is a... Um, two ender tanks and then we can start getting some lava in from the nether and get some more IC2 on the go um, tank 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 there is an ender tank in here I know there is so I've got blaze rods I don't know how many blaze rods I've got all together. I'm going to want eight. But what I was thinking, I've got five and blaze powder. So what I was thinking is going back to the nether, try and get another drop of evil. Um, I'll show you the um, where we are in the nether. But... Let's see if I can dump a load of this stuff off. I don't need. Take some food. So what I have realised or found out from watching a Enderman pinching mid blocks or what? Um, What I have found out is we can make basically exactly the same as what we've just made there in the nether and we will get, I presume we'll get zombie pigmen and um, we'll get all the other stuff that spawns in the nether spawn in our spawner. Anyway, I have a quick run down here. It's, it's, it's a fair old way to the fortress. Um, 300 and something meters so I'll pause it and come back when I get there right guys I'm here um, I did run back and turn our spawner off I don't know whether that made any difference but my frame rate dropped to about 20 so I've run around all over here and died quite a lot um, so we want to try and find some wither skeletons if we can. Our blaze spawner is just over there. I don't like these flying things. You got there's a lot of ways to die in this nether. That's for sure. Um, oh, there's one. Come on, come over here. Drop of evil, you bugger. No. Yeah, so I'm thinking if we set yes, yeah, set up our cursed earth spawner here, we should get wither skeletons, we should get blazes, um, and lots of other stuff. Our blaze thing is down there. We need some more blaze rods anyway, didn't we? Or did I say I had five and I think I needed eight for two tanks? Just going to 
try and get him to come back. some stuff over with me and kind of started blocking this slot off I don't know what that is panicking I think that was If I dig some of these out, nah, I need to put those back because they come through the sides. Otherwise, oh, am I gonna have to sort of move away from this or something? Been too close. Okay. Scared of me is what the problem is. Only two. make this a better farm. slow going that's a map right guys I'll come back when I've got them <laughs> right guys well I've been in there I got 10 so that should see us through hopefully for a little bit but I do want to try and get a drop of evil while we're here if we can get that, then I think I'll kind of build everything else off camera. Make some tanks. And then we'll... Um, I don't know where skeletons are likely to spawn. Whether they're kind of out here. There's a lot of stuff lying around in this nether, that's for sure. Look at it. I wonder if frame rate struggles. Um, what is that? Oh, that's one of them little spray things, isn't that? I suspect if I didn't want to see a skeleton, there would be hundreds of them trying to kill me. I'm get a 10% chance. 
getting one as well. So one do they spawn when you're not here or do they spawn when you are here just gonna build a bridge across there then but oh I've already done that See if we can get I've been down here that at the no Mobless. That's all I can say. <laughs> if I change the um, ooh, kind of a nice open area here, isn't it? So it'd be nice to be able to teleport here and put a spawner there, wouldn't it? my death point over there. Uh, going around in circles. Right guys, at some point or another, I will try and come over here. I think I'm pretty sure I look at these. Kind of same old stuff I don't really want. Woo. I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I did find, after running around and getting lost, um, I found a couple more blazes in one point, and then I did find a wither skeleton. But he didn't drop me anything. Uh, maybe a bone, I think. I don't know. I found some boots. Well, I found two sets of boots, and then made that set of boots, which has got a possible upgrade. So, I don't think we need those with the armour we've got. I'm going to need to set it up so I can charge it again. It took hours for me to charge it last time. And about four or five stacks of coal, I think. Okay. So, what I'm going to do off camera is I shall move our ME sorting system into here, as this is the kind of sorting system area. We will probably do away with a few of these we'll do away with the logistic pipe stuff and we'll set up what we want and then um, we'll set up a tank somewhere storage tank maybe in here and um, we will get ourselves some geothermal generators and get a bit of IC2 on the go I should probably do away with these um, train track things here maybe I might use a track actually to get to the fortress in the nether a bit quicker. Um, and then I'm Ender IO, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's just a real pain to make. I've got some of that, um, what's it called, stuff. I did um, go down to the um, bedrock and 
catch it on fire. So I've got about a stack of it. So maybe I'll make some more Ender IO because I know, oh, I found a capacitor while I was out and about. Heaven sent machine upgrade. Put them in there so we can make more of those. I'm not sure what the recipe is for those. Um, but, you know, for the majority of our smelting, we could probably get away with this. We don't need, um, I could probably do it in IC2, to be honest, and then just keep these for any kind of special stuff we want. Um, but it makes, um, you know, it's a big room with not a lot going on in it, and this one. So I think we go IC2 for our smelting. In here, we'll do away with this. I'd like to have, um, if we have a look at our quests, I don't know what we've got quest-wise. Oh, that just gives me some experience stuff. Uh, useful things. What have I got at useful things? Mob killer. Murder enchants. I don't know what that does, but there we go. Um, fluid transfer. We'll get onto that. Applied energistics. What else do we need to start making? So, yeah, we'll get on and do a bit of that as well. We need to make um, a wireless terminal. I'm not sure whether that goes across dimensions or not. Um, and then we'll get into some auto crafting and things like that, I think. Like I said, I'll come back when I've kind of cleared all this mess up moved our um, miner and uh, yeah a chance to teleport attackers away don't want that do I okay all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.